All right, guys, this is Trader Sebron here. You're welcome to our weekly forecast on GU and Euro USD. That means GDP USD pair and Euro USD. This is week 44 that we are about to forecast on the chart. Now, last week we talked about week 43, how the trade was going to be in a sell zone from a pullback up to it and then begin to sell. So throughout the week last week, we were able to uh, analyze some of the movement that the market was going to do, but it was majorly consolidation week. After the market moved, uh, dropped on, on Wednesday, um, let me just quickly give you a, a recap here. Um, we saw that the market was supposed to buy, like we said, market pushed up on last week. We started on a Monday. We saw that the market pushed up and we're expecting a retracement to uh, to the a certain level before pull a push up. But we we obviously saw the surprise of our analysis that the market failed. It didn't retrace. This is supposed to be a retracement, a pullback continuation to the upside, which fails. And the reason is because the market, even though broke structure, changing direction to the upside, as it were at this point in time, let me just show you, as it were at this point in time, this was last week's structure that we saw. So we anticipated that price was going to push even higher. OK, we anticipated that this price is going to take off this high because of what the market has been getting to shift momentum to the upside. But obviously, if you look at the overall trend, which is called momentum, overall momentum is more bearish in the momentum. Yes, we can see that the market has begun to create uh, lows and higher highs at this structure. OK, um, the market has begun to do that. But in retrospect, we we can see that even when the market is doing that, a structure has been broken. Uh, we can see that liquidity grab was taken there. But this high was supposed to be the major structure break, which failed. And when that failed last week, which is this week that just ended, we eventually embarked on actually a, uh, a continuation of the downtrend, which uh, through the daily analysis, we were able to capture uh, those opportunities. We were able to capture those trades. Uh, and that's why I encourage you, uh, everyone, to ensure you participate on, on the daily analysis that we do, because it's very important. The daily analysis will help you uh, to understand what we're doing, what we're looking at, what kind of trade we're taking. And then that will help you to move in that direction uh, on a daily basis, which is very important. Okay, it's very important. And and, and it's not like um, the, the it's not like uh, it's, it's, it's not like the market is going to just go in the direction uh, uh, like that. But we also anticipate that even though the market is going to be slowing down, um, moving in the direction uh, to the downside, we know that, okay, if we break the structure, break that structure, we are still heading down. So let me just show you quickly um, what I'm looking at on this. The first thing is, sorry, guys, I just noticed that the tools I'm using has moved from a position to another, so I was just looking for it. Okay, now... Um, if, if you look at the chart around this zone, you see what the, the market did there, created massive consolidation, okay? Created a strong massive consolidation in that zone. So what really happened on, on Tuesday was the market began to sell and massively. Of, of course, I did a little sell on that market when it dropped massively like this. So immediately it dropped massively like this. I knew that the pullback was not gonna work. So even though we're trying to get a pullback on a lower time frame, we, we obviously saw that the pullback was not going to work because this was the trap that they wanted to attempt the pullback. And if you went lower than that time frame, you would definitely been, you would have been in, in, a, 
in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a what do you call it in a loss because you would try to buy at that level and then try to buy even at this level the more you make an attempt to buy the more they were dropping and just tanking to the downside on a lower time frame but if you were on the four hour um, on a two hour one hour time frame looking at the reaction of the price you would definitely know that oh you know what these guys are not ready for a pullback at the moment so what would you have done no first thing is there was an opportunity that the market shows us to sell at this imbalance right here which would have been a sell trade um in targeting the reverse of the market a pullback that the market was doing targeting the pullback all right the retracement but the retracement just keep continuing until the momentum really dropped below expectation as you can see price came to that that low pull back a little bit by creating a more liquidity pull here and then eventually took the liquidity out so which obviously i knew that they were going to do with that pullback because we could see already the momentum and i could see that the retracement uh, was not going to be too strong in, in the market and then it started dropping so i told my guys you know what the market is going to sell please just stay away and just look for opportunity to sell so now where we are in the market the market closed even more to take out this liquidity at this low as you can see so the the the, the real deal that the market took out the liquidity um, at the slows, as you can see. So all the liquidities at the slow were tapped into the market, took them out crazily. And that is a change, again, of structure that the market will still want to keep selling uh, to the downside. Now, remember, we were targeting that the market overall may get to 1.20, 1 1.19, 1 1.18 in the future based on what we have been looking at overall so let's go to the four hour time frame and just uh, uh finalize what the market has done and how we should be expecting to trade right now now on the four hour time frame days based on the daily analysis i did on friday i predicted a sell from the zone which obviously the market if you see let me just show you what i mean this is it um that's the sell sell uh um setup i did and i send this to my my team in the trading lab so they they, they should be in this trade already uh and i told them it's kind of uh, a swing trade like a long term trade so it's something that will not happen immediately the market actually played around you know more creating multiple uh consolidation and rejection over there and making an attempt to push even higher like it did the last week crazy right but now it's just dropping without giving us a potential direction. So uh, at the moment, I still predicted that we we're going to be selling the market. So eventually, before the end of the on Friday, the market began to get into profit region. So right now, uh, as I speak to you on our chart on my on my trade that is uh, still still on, obviously it left it throughout the weekend is on the sell so i'm predicting that the market will go even lower but let me go back to the analysis um so that you understand that it's the same thing all right so we predicted the sell and we are still on it so the question is what what, what direction will the market go we're still expecting a sell market as you can see the pressure is strong so um where are we now what's the market doing um the first thing is to look at the direction. First, this was a break of structure to the upside. This high was taken out and it gave us this high. So we can now see that at the current moment, okay, at the current moment, remember this low was taken out. This low was taken out. It dropped. We had a new high. Okay, let me just show you what I mean. We, there was a low here, okay, the market low. And we have uh, obviously... There was a high at this peak, okay? There was a high at this peak. So um, the market came down and took out this low. So at that moment, we have a very a direction, all right? We're looking at a bullish momentum, okay, at this direction here. And we said it was a strong 
uh, bullish momentum to the upside. So that's why we had that structure. This was a setup last week. Now the market came down, broke, pulled back a little bit and took out this low. So when this low was broken, it was a bridge of structure. And now we form a new low. Okay. This is now a new low. So here is where we now have a change of direction. This is now what a new high that the market created at that moment. So now with this, we have what? This is a strong follow through, not a strong follow through, just perhaps a follow through to the downside. Okay. We have a, a follow through to the downside telling us that the market was going to sell much more to the downside. So we have a change of character here because the market began to sell. All right break that structure, continue selling. The next candle shows us that it was a follow through. So we have a sell market to the downside right there and the market started selling. So for that week, so we, we decided to predict to sell. We want to pull back into this region, which obviously we were predicting. That will be a pull back into this region. Okay. And then we're going to look for opportunity to sell right there. Now, um, at that, I think this this was the the low that I was looking at. Yeah, this low, not that one. It was this low. So we're looking at this low. And because of that bullish momentum, and I predicted that it was a strong follow through um, um, based on the, the strength of it, the bullish bearish momentum that just break strong. So I said, we're going to look for sale either here or there. So we're looking at either, either the premium or discount. We're going to look for opportunity to sell. Now, this is still the settings at the moment. This is still the condition because the previous high has not been taken out. Neither was the, it was, is the previous low be taken out. So this is the state where we are right now. Question is, are we going to be buying or selling? Well, the market is already selling. So what, what do we anticipate? Two things. Number one. Price may open up and still go up to take our liquidity, tap into the high again, and then drop. That can happen. That can happen. But you got to watch it. So it's still a sell market. Although GU is unstable right now, even though it looks like a sell market, it could just push up crazy as it normally does and then push down crazy as it normally does without respecting any market structure. All right. But the only key area you need to look at on this time frame is um, you're looking at the, what the market is doing in the four hour. What is it doing on the two hour time frame? What is it doing on the one hour time frame? Before you could think of going down to even a smaller time frame, you need to know what the market is doing. As you can see last week, there's so many consolidation phase that it entails. Last uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, Friday as well. There were so many consolidation on Friday before eventually started going down from this sale region. As you can see, he had to take out the liquidity there, take out all the liquidity by pushing higher and before started dropping. So I anticipate a more sell in the market on, on the Monday morning when the market opened up tomorrow night. So I'm expecting the market should break, take this low out if it doesn't and it fails, then I'm looking for a buy to the upside. So I'm expecting what price action will be here. If it could push up, then I'll look for a buy. Probably they want to fill up this imbalance again to create that new high before they will think of selling one more time according to the pattern. But for now, watch it. You need to follow me on the daily uh, forecast that I'm going to be doing so that you know exactly what to do each day to trade it because um, it's very important that the way GU is going right now, you even though you're looking at it from the higher perspective, like the uh, daily time frame, you need to really get ready to get in because you can see on the daily, the market has been actually consolidating. It's not really giving you some great moves. So it's only on the four hour time frame really you can actually predict some move and then be able to take some day trading setup like we, we anticipate to do. So joining our trading lab is going to help you to do that. So the link is in the description of this video where you'll be able to participate every day and see the daily analysis that I'm doing for the whole 
month, you'll be able to have access for just 30 bucks and you'll be able to have access to that. So I hope that helps you guys on this. Right now, this is still the setup I'm looking at. I'm still looking to sell. I'm already in the trade already uh, on this one, as you can see on the setup, I'm in the trade already and I'm going to just leave it open and let it drop. So um, for those of you who will be joining the trading lab, ensure that you um, participate, turn on the notification bell because I'm going to be sending in uh, all of the information that you will need uh, to, for the day trade and, and, and all the information you need to, uh, to, to enter the trade as well. So let's go to EURUSD. Now, EURUSD, we can see that the market also played the same fake move to the upside, deceiving a lot of people that the market was going to start buying and eventually smash all the way down following the lead on GDP USD. And that's crazy because you see market structures at this time failed on this particular trade on the four hour time frame. But if you look at the daily, if you're looking at the daily time frame, you could see that the market also struggled for a couple of weeks now. And at creating a, uh, a setting level of uh, of uh, market structure shift when this high was taken out and then we have a higher low uh, created at this very bottom as you can see right there and the market was taken out up here so right at this push up we have that structure break and then we can anticipate that the market is also trying to create a new lower high a higher low at this key level right here but you know what? It is not really going to be um a good a good projection on that until we see that the market really clear up on GU. GU need to really start giving a bullish momentum before Euro USD will eventually follow. Um at the moment is still affected by Euro USD. Uh GU is still British pounds is still pulling euro into the market and also we can see that dsy on his own is being bullish so until we see um just a minute until we see a shift on the on the on the dsy maybe dsy is not trying to start selling then we know that okay well the dollar is dropping and then we can now look at possible push up to the upside now if that is not happening there's no way we cannot actually predict that so let me Quickly go back to Euro USD and just do the analysis for what I'm looking at for the week before we look at the fundamentals of the week and then we conclude on this video. I hope you got it. Now, previously the market took out this high and created this new high, took out the high again. You can see the lows have become, has been normal until this low. So recent low that we now have, which is now the recent high we have is here. And now the market has given us a recent low, which is here. So we can tell that the high that was taken out is, um, just a minute. I'm just trying to stitch on that. The high that was taken out was this. So we saw price take this high. Right, but now what we have is a reversal. Uh, the market created a change to the downside. So what we have right now is NFT. So NFT actually means that the market reversed instead of continuing bullishly is not a have is having enough follow through to the upside. So now with this bearish candle, the market has changed direction. So normally what you will be waiting for is a sell opportunity at that moment or a buy opportunity at the counter trend. So this is a non follow through of a downside. That means the market is selling, is giving us opportunity to sell. So if you put your gun boss here and then you drag it to the downside, you will discover that yet where you are now is prem is discount level. So is a possible opportunity to buy. So possible opportunity to buy to the upside. So what does that mean? It means that you're looking at for a counter trade because the opportunity to sell is still far away. You need to wait for price to come into the into the premium for you to sell. You can only sell at the premium, not at the discount. So you wait for price to come into the premium for you to look for opportunity to sell. So if you can wait for price to come to the premium, then you're going to look for opportunity to sell on Euro USD. But at the moment, there is a counter buy. So the market could play around a bit 
probably push a little bit downward uh, based on GU dropping, you know, GU still selling and or probably GU want to push up a little before selling and this will happen. You wait for price to come here before another massive drop. So this is what I'm looking at on Euro USD uh, for starting out the day, which is on Monday and Tuesday, unfailingly, but subsequent uh, movement of the market, you have to join the uh, the trading lab so that you'll be able to see the daily analysis that I'm going to be sending out on each day on this pair. So I believe you got this. So let me quickly just go to the fundamentals. Now, this is my fundamentals using the A, A, A1 of, um, H, for H, uh, H Finder Pro um, designed by one of my mentor, uh, Trader Nick. Now, this one... Um, it's it's uh it's it's euro usd as you can see the bias is bearish so even though the market is trying to push up push up and you can see the cot data here look at the cot data did you see that usd is really rising it's getting stronger it's pushing higher usd percentage long is higher than even the euro usd so if you look at the direct the retail settlement you can see that the retail settlement is showing us that the market is going to sell more even though it appears that it's bullish. And also you can see on the his, his seasonal, uh, the historical section where you have the seasonality, you can see that in October, the market sold. Is a market selling. Is a sell market in October. So we can see even in November, the market is still going to sell on Euro USD. So that's for that. Uh, I can pick from that from now at the moment. So just to know that we are still bearish on Euro USD, just to say. Now, um, you say, well, how is this thing calculated? It's calculated based on the four hour time frame. So, whatever you're seeing here on the long term, we're looking at minimum four hour time frame stretch that this whole system is based on. Now, you can see that GU is very bearish at the moment. The in instruction sheet shows that GU is very bearish. And you can see that on the COT data, USD again is stronger. That means the dollar is stronger than the GDP USD. So we can see again, is a sell opportunity giving us on that. So October is a sell market and a little bit of push up will happen in November. Hopefully that will make sense, but a little bit of push up. But at the moment, we're selling all through to the end of the month. I hope you guys get it. And then this is what I would like to say. Then let's see if we have fundamentals for the week uh, news report that will be coming in for the week. And that will be on Monday. We have Euro USD come Euro US Euro news with CPI coming in. So please pay attention to CPI news. Um, then on the thirty first, which is Tuesday, we have um a little bit of consumer reports coming in on um. On, uh, on USD, which is okay by 2 p.m. Then on the first, obviously that will be the NFP. Uh, so NF, um, NF, NFP, yeah, NFP uh, week. So you, you should expect it's gonna be all marathon, um, a lot of news here and there until a Friday. So watch out for, be careful how you trade this week. I, I have to tell you that there's going to be a lot of push up and down in the market this week. So that's what I have to share with you on Euro USD and GDP USD pair that we're looking at this week. So ensure you join the trading lab so you'll be able to catch the daily move that we're going to be anticipating and analysis per day that you're going to be looking at. So I'll see you um, in the trading lab. Now, the next video is going to be on gold and US steady. I'm going to look at gold and US steady. So if you trade gold and US steady, ensure you watch the next video. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.